Hello everybody, welcome back to Farming Simulator 19. You're watching JCTV on the Xbox One console. This is Switchback Canyon, episode number 27. We are almost to our 30th episode. Um, nothing's really going to happen on the 30th episode. We're just, hey, we're almost to 30. That's awesome. Alright, so this is the last load of lumber going into the sawmill right now from that ginormous section that we cleared out last week. You can sort of see it off there in the distance. It's all the way on the bottom left-hand corner of the map. So let's drop off this load of wood. We'll make our way back out to the job site and we'll finish cutting down some more trees. There we go. So that load, $25,000, brings our total to $3.6 million. Now, that is not too shabby, folks, considering where we started. We had a $100,000 27 episodes ago when we first started. Oops, that's a little down too far there we go we had a hundred thousand dollars and this equipment that you see here when we first started 27 episodes ago we made our way to 3.6 million dollars and we've cut down just about maybe i want to say one third of the map maybe one quarter of this side of the river we have yet to cross the river but once all the trees are cut down on this side of the map, maybe we can venture across the river and see what that has to hold. I want to kind of uh, wait a little bit to get further away from the sawmill because it is going to take quite a long time to drive back there. As you can see, we're already taking shortcuts to the job site so we don't have to drive all the way around. Let's uh, switch to in-cab view here real quick. Just to uh, navigate through the trees a little easier. You can see that I haven't even washed this thing yet because uh, we don't have a pressure washer. We can't buy one. Because this is the no shop, no mods challenge. We're not accessing the shop and we're not purchasing any mods. So all we're doing is repairing the equipment as it breaks down. And that's pretty much it. We don't need to access the shop for that. So it is going to get dirty. And that's why we don't spend a lot of time in cab. Oh, kind of on the edge there. That's why we don't spend a lot of time in cab in these machines. Because we have no way to wash them. And that just looks terrible. All right, let's get out of the cab here for a minute. There we go. That's the crane cam. And here we are. We are making our way up this small hill back to the job site. You'll see it come into focus there. You can see there's a small notch of trees from here. It looks maybe about an inch or two wide. But uh, it is a few hundred feet. So we're going to work our way up the mountain this week. And we're going to start uh, chopping down trees coming up to the mountain, or going up the mountain, sorry, and back towards the back end of the map again uh, in an effort to clear out this complete section. And then we'll work on that section over there to our left. You can see that there's another big section there that wraps all the way down to the river. So we're going to tackle that after we're done this. Now we should be able to put a pretty big dent into this... Uh, block of trees that are going up the side of the mountain um, I don't want to go all the way up but we will uh, jump in the pickup truck that's up here and we'll take a little tour up there just to give you an idea as to how many trees are left in this section now it is just the back corner because we've cut everything to the right and to the left and we've carved out a little bit of a notch along the property line so we know which trees are ours basically everything you see in front of us right now all the way back to the end of the map uh, down to the south there is coming down and this is a lot of trees so yeah so there's the pickup truck right there let's hop in there and uh, we'll take a little drive yeah that's a lot of trees up there all right well that's what we're gonna do there is an awful lot of trees there that still need to come down and it's gonna take a little bit longer too because now we're working on the side of the hill which uh, makes the scorpion king run a little bit slower because we have to travel up and then down and then back up again and then maybe we'll figure out some side-to-side -side motion so it won't uh, take so long. Let's take the pickup truck up the hill here. You can see that there are hundreds and hundreds of trees still left in this section. But uh, in a couple of episodes, that should be done. It shouldn't take us that long. Oh, man. There is a lot more up here than uh, I anticipated. Yeah, so getting to the edges of the maps are kind of difficult because... Uh, Although it looks like the map ends somewhere, it ends a couple of feet before that. And some of the trees that you see right along the uh, edge line of the map can't be cut down because the harvester can't get to them. So unfortunately, although visibly we can't cut down every tree that you see, 
we are cutting down every tree that is available to be cut down uh, switch to the in cab view here we'll take a little trip down the mountain hopefully we won't smack into any trees or any stumps or anything yeah there is a lot of lumber here and it still goes back quite a ways to the end of the map there wow yeah this is going to take some doing um we haven't gotten to a pretty good rhythm though of just uh, pitching these logs down the hill and letting them roll to wherever they stop and then we'll just go pick them up later it's actually uh it does take quite a long time to pick up all that lumber that's why we don't really show that much on uh the switchback canyon episodes i'd rather just show the trees coming down rather than the boring task of picking all of the trees up in case you were wondering uh, i'd rather just show you the the last load going into the sawmill and then our grand total for that episode all right so that is the tour let's get to work we got a lot of trees to cut down let's hop inside the scorpion king and get things done
right, folks, I think that is about going to wrap it up. That's all the trees I have time to cut down today. We will resume uh, the rest of this small section here that I've carved out uh, in next week's episode, and hopefully we can get things down to a nice straight line. That's what I wanted to accomplish there. You'll notice that... Uh, Partway through the episode there, we just started veering off into our own direction. I just like everything to be in nice straight lines. So we go straight up and down, north, south, east, west type of thing. And then um, we can get everything all squared away nicely and easily. And there is a lot of lumber left to pick up. Not so much right here, but on closer to the roadside there. Uh, we did accumulate quite a few logs. I'm wondering what our total will be next week when we continue. And of course, don't forget, folks, if you have not done so already, hit that subscribe button for me in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Drop a like on the video and ring that notification bell so you can be alerted every time we upload new content. This was Switchback Canyon episode number 27 into the No Shop, No Mods Challenge. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And for now, this is me, JCTV, saying, hey, see you later. <laughs>